Taking a closer look at the Series 66 putter from Sax Perini, uh, this is their answer style blade. So it's a very classic and familiar overall shape for everyone. Uh, it utilizes a plumber's neck. It's not an adjustable hosel situation like some of their other models. Uh, but when it comes to an answer style blade, it doesn't necessarily need to be. Uh, this is a model that they, if you can tell by the, the different materials being utilized here, the forward portion of the face is made out of brass. Uh, this brass is going to be combined with tungsten weighting in the heel and the toe, and that's going to really help push the weight forward in the putter. Uh, the rear flange is made of aluminum. Uh, this creates a situation where the center of gravity, as we mentioned, is, is more forward, and what they have found uh, in their testing is that creates a much more consistent and pure roll. When you combine that with their ultra low balance point uh, design and their proprietary putter shafts, uh, it's created a design that is intent on allowing the user uh, to get out of the way and just let the putter do the work as it's gonna flow freely throughout the stroke. Uh, we're gonna head over to the putting green now and we're gonna take a few rolls. Now that we're over at the putting green, you've got a chance to really look down on, on this putter and see what the, the Series 66 has with its different contrasting materials. Uh, the brass of the face combined with the aircraft aluminum in the back and the overall satin look. Uh, it creates an answer style uh, visual that's pretty much unlike anything else out there. Uh, we want to go ahead and take a few rolls now so you can get some audible feedback. We do have a microphone placed down, uh, so hopefully it's going to pick up exactly what's going on in terms of what that forward weight has done in, in, in both tactile and audible feedback. As you can tell, it, it, it's an overall full kind of a talk sound. Um, there's, there's nothing harsh to it. There's nothing clicky to it, which is what you would expect with the density of the materials. Uh, combine that with the fact that we have uh, a milled grooved face on it, and, and you're reducing the overall surface area uh, that's coming into contact with the golf ball. And that's what's going to help create that soft feel that so many people look for in a milled putter.